Hi, welcome to Optimize You. This is part three, the last part of my nutrition conversations with James Young husband, Ina Palacios, Remedy Rule, and Luke Gebby. In this episode, they'll talk about diet in relation to how it can affect performance, as well as the intersection between nutrition, sleep, and wellness. Here is a brief summary of my speakers. James Young Husband recently retired from his time as a professional footballer in the Philippines. Growing up in the UK, he started his career in Chelsea's youth football program before heading to the Philippines with his brother to play for clubs such as Loyola Sparks and Sarah's Negro FC. Ina Palacios has been playing football since primary school and although started out as a field player, is currently the goalkeeper and captain of the Philippine women's national football team, the Malditas. Both James and Ina have competed for the Philippines in the SEA Games, the AFF, and the AFC tournaments. Remedy Rule and Luke Gebby are both swimmers for the Philippines and were qualified for the 2020 Olympic Games. Remedy was an NCAA Division I swimmer who grew up in the US. For the Philippines, she's competed in multiple SEA Games and the World Aquatic Championships, holding 12 national records and 5 SEA Games medals. She's also a vegetarian. Luke. Although competing in the World Aquatic Championships and the SEA Games recently and meddling, he took a four-year break from swimming during university in Melbourne and had a really unique path getting to where he is now. On diet, it's, uh, I think it was a bit of the keto, I think it was kind of the keto diet when I had uh, last year, like it was just once in my life, last year I had eight months off playing football. Uh, that was my break because I, uh, tried different things and then I wanted to get back playing again and uh, so I started playing again August last year. I Obviously when you don't play for eight months and you don't train as regularly or you don't you relax a bit with your diet I kind of gained a bit of pounds really so my goal was to just to lose as much as I could as right. It worked in a way like uh, I wouldn't it's a bit dangerous I reckon it's it's hard to stick to the diet it would be like in the mornings you just have coffee and, and liquids and then from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. that's when you eat, but you eat good foods. And then after 8 p.m. you just drink tea. And at first I started all right in it, but, and uh, I was okay performing wise, but it was so hard to stick to that diet. And uh, I think I, I needed a bit of energy. So I, I changed it up a bit and just added on a bit more, uh, something to eat in the morning and then something to eat uh, at night. So just one, uh, one light thing as well. So uh, I think, yeah, it's, if people are gonna try this, they need to, speak to specialists about it like it's important to speak to doctors about it i mean it's it's a bit dangerous i think it depends what your life your current lifestyle is as well what you do and because uh, yeah you need you need these nutrients from the food to to live your everyday life it's like an equation what you bring out you want to take back in to maintain your weight and if you want to gain more you want to intake more and it's also the quality of food that you eat. So you don't just drink all the soft drinks out there. Well, I'm looking for something in my house to <laughs> say as an example. But I do not believe in restricting yourself with whatever. It's your own call. You know your body well. And the more you restrict it, the more it will look for it. So I do not like where you deprive yourself from something that you want. Because the more your body will crave for it. But I don't do those big diets like I feel like those are like crash diets where you see results and then you have a massive withdrawal and then you're back to square one. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do have some teammates who are pescatarians or vegan. I don't say anything bad about it because it's doing them good. I see them performing. I see them playing at their best. And for me, as as one of the leaders of the team, that's everything that I could ask for. As long as you're performing well, I have no say on what you're doing. I would say as far as like for me cooking, it like it's not too challenging. Traveling is a little more challenging. Uh, but I think traveling can be hard on people's stomachs, whatever diet you follow. But yeah, I guess a typical day of what I would eat, you know, in the morning, you know, I would say oatmeal is pretty normal. And then switch whatever like you eat for dinner, you can also eat for lunch. And I guess I could just tell you what I ate for dinner today. <laughs> and I had some red sauce and edamame pasta. They're also called soybeans and it had like 24 grams of protein per serving. So that's like how I get in my protein. 
and then earlier, I guess my after practice, I guess I'm going the opposite way. <laughs> after practice, I made a smoothie and I had like orange juice and then soy milk for protein. And then I also had, um, I feel like Greek yogurt is a great source of protein. And, and I feel like it's also a good like dessert-ish snack <laughs> that's like healthy that I'll have like sometimes before bed. Uh, and then I put beets, spinach, and banana and like pineapple in the smoothie. I definitely like eating a lot of vegetables and fruits. And then as far as like plant proteins go, like tofu, tempeh, peas actually have a lot of protein in them, lentils, chickpeas, beans. I think with anything, if you are passionate about it and you wanna do it, you just have to like educate yourself, do some research, and then listen to your body. Like sometimes I'm not feeling as strong. Maybe I need to incorporate a little more protein or I'm feeling maybe a little lethargic. I'm dying practices like maybe I need to eat some more carbs too. So I think that I would say that's probably my biggest advice as far as nutrition goes. Like research, pay attention. Like your body should be like, oh, like, hey, <laughs> I'm thirsty. Like drink some water or something. So listen to your body. The bottom line is, the diet you pick doesn't have to have a detrimental impact on your performance. Remedies on a vegetarian diet, James tried the keto diet, Luke is sticking to a very rigid plan, and Ina is more intuitively eating to replenish when she feels tired. But given how successful they are, it's hard to critique dieting in sports at all, if you do it right. Um, when I'm older here um, for the past two years, um, that I've graduated college and now working, it's still the same thing. You want to make sure that if you don't, uh, it's kind of bad that you compensate your sleep with the nutrition, but it does help you. But ideally, you do want to make sure you have enough rest because rest is when you're, you restore everything that you've worked on, especially your, mu your muscle and that. But the nutrition part, you want to make sure you replace what you give out. That's why... For me, protein is a much bigger portion on my diet because my muscle really burn quick and I'm lean to begin with and I can't be more lean than I am because that means I'm going to be like a skeleton running. <laughs> it's like an equation. What you bring out, you want to take back in to maintain your weight and if you want to gain more, you want to intake more. Definitely don't know much about the topic. In the beginning, I knew absolutely nothing. My food was terrible, but I just sat down and I was just like, please fix my food. So now my eating is, you know, she gave me a whole schedule and it's down to the hour what I should be eating. So it's like six meals a day every day. And she was just like, these are the recipes for your food. If you follow this in two months, you can come back. And I was like 15% body fat. And she's like, in two months, if you eat this, you will be at 8.2. And if you come back here and you're not at 8.2, I'll know that you are cheating and eating bad food. And I did it, I came back and I was 8.1. So, I mean, Crazy. it's a science, it works, but it's just, you know, it's recovery is the biggest part of the food. And then in terms of sleep, it do exactly the same thing. I read a book by this guy that's called like the sleep doctor and kind of shocked me into it. But the sleep part is easy. It's just get eight hours, seven and a half. Seven and a half hours is what I aim for every night. Just do that. I know this last clip doesn't really tell you much in terms of what you need to be eating, but I think it's a really, really great statistic that emphasizes just how big of an impact nutrition can play on your body. To James, Ina, Remedy, and Luke, thank you so much for giving me and everybody else the time to share your experience. I know this is going to be something I'm going to be referring back to a lot, especially the advice about the game day prep, which I guess I'll be using after lockdown. Lockdown or not, nutrition should still be one of the top priorities. And especially now, since it's definitely a lot harder for people to get the same amount of exercise that they would be getting without the lockdown. And I know that's the case for me. So I hope this video was helpful. And that is it. Bye.